Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and it is still Marimba One week at the studio today, so we're going to be talking about the Marimba One Ivana Village Signature Series. <music> Massive thank you to Marimba One for sending me these mallets to review. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ron Samuels. Ivana Bilic is a marimba soloist from Croatia, and she's an absolute beast on the marimba. I've watched a lot of videos of her playing, and it's just like pure power. If you watch her playing the Gillingham Marimba Concerto on YouTube, it's an amazing video to watch, and she's just killing it on the marimba. And I'm really glad that she has her own mallet line, which sort of reflects her style of playing. I have here today the fours, the fives, and the sixes of the Ivana Bilic Signature Series, which is is also known as IBB or IBR, IBB being for Birch, IBR being for Rattan, so you can get one or the other. And just like the rest of Room 1's lineup, one is the hardest and six is the softest, so there are six hardnesses. And I say hardnesses in inverted commas, because this is where all the similarities with other Marimba 1 mallets end. It is not just one equals hard, six equals soft. Rather, Ivana and Marimba 1 have decided to put choral voices to each one of the mallets to better describe them, because it's a very broad definition. I've been playing around with these for a while, and I can't really say either of them is medium or soft or medium soft. So starting from one, we have the high soprano, followed by the singing tenor, followed by the boy alto, followed by the dramatic baritone, which I have here, the smooth bass, and finally the power bass. I have the dramatic baritone, which is the IBB4, the smooth bass, which is the IBB5, and the power bass, which is the IBB6. Try saying IBB lots of times. IBB, IBB, IBB. And all of these mallets in the series have the navy blue color as their main uniform color, as well as another color mixed in. And what I found really interesting about these mallets is that they've blended synthetic yarn and wool yarn together, but the fives don't have synthetic yarn, so they are the least articulate of all of them. Which is kind of strange, because you'd think six would be the least articulate, but no! Remember one changing the game. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Now in terms of build quality, these mallets are exactly how you'd expect them to be for Marimba 1. Very well built. Of course we have the signature Marimba 1 feature which is that head. We've got the synthetic wool yarn blend creating these nice patterns. Really nice heads, really robust. Feels like they're not going to break easily, which is good. Next we have Marimba 1's signature smooth birch shaft and this is just really smooth to the touch. Doesn't feel like it's going to peel off easily. It's actually slightly smoother than the double helixes. So it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. And at the end here, you have the nice smooth end. Smooth ends make friends. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, these mallets have the same engraved writing that you'd expect to see on all Marimba 1 mallets, not printed, engraved, which is a really nice touch. It gives this really tactile feel to the mallet, which means you feel like you're holding a premium product. Now, onto the ergonomics. This is where people will be split right down the middle. The ergonomics of this mallet are polarizing, and the reason for that is because it's heavy, super heavy. like. It is not a 50-50 mallet at all. It is definitely a very front-heavy mallet. It's not because of the shaft length. The shaft length is the same as the double helix, but it is definitely heavier towards the head. So I think the head is just bigger. This is the four, it's super heavy. This is the six, it's super heavy. The five, which again is the only one that doesn't have the synthetic wool in its head, is not as heavy. So it's a little bit more like what I'm used to, but it's still towards the heavy side. Woo, woo, woo. Just to make it clear, this is the double helix four, this is the Ivana Village four, and if I just let go of them, this one is always tending to fall down a lot faster. And that's just the way it is. Now this is what I mean by polarizing. Some people really like heavy mallets. Some people have a very heavy style of playing and they like having that extra weight, makes them feel more secure. Some people like really light mallets. They like being agile. They like having full control of the mallet. And some people like me prefer something that is more 50-50, right in the middle, something balanced so that I know I have full control of it and it's not too heavy and it's not too light. And again, this is heavy. So if you don't like heavy mallets or you're unsure about heavy mallets, this may not be the mallet for you. But if you like heavy mallets, or if you're planning to use these in a situation where you need heavy mallets, this will be good. I've got to be clear about this. Just because they're heavy doesn't mean they're bad, okay? Heavy is not a bad thing. Again, it's all subjective. It's like saying birch is better than rattan, rattan is better than birch. We could talk about that for ages. But at the end of the day, weight is a personal preference. And if you like weightiness, 
these will do the job. I actually really like the heaviness of the fives because they're not too heavy, not as heavy as the other two, and they're a really fun mallet to use for bassy parts. Which brings me to the next section, which is the sound. I'm going to reinforce this again. I'm giving you my opinion on these mallets. You may find these to be different, but I personally would only buy these ones, the IBB 5s. These are actually really nice. I like the really warm bass tone that comes out of them and combined with the Marimba 1 quality in terms of build quality and in terms of the heads being wrapped like this, I really like them. But that's as far as I would go with the Ivana Village series so far. That's not to say that these sound bad. They actually sound very good. There is no contact sound on these two. The 5 has a little bit of contact sound, but the 4s and 6s have very little and it sounds really good. That's what I want to stress is that there's nothing wrong with them. It's just personal preference. But the IB5s will be going into my bag 100% because I really like the bassy sound of them. I'll leave it to you now. If you have any other questions about the Ivana Bilic series, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions on what you want to see on the show, let me know in the comments below. If you're going to PASIC next week, let me know in the comments below because I really want to see people's videos on PASIC. That's awesome. I can't wait to see what everyone does at PASIC. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And click that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to keep up with my videos. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Studio and I will see you next time. Good night.